Homer. We're in London. You're sleeping rough. I this is a, this happens to me in the states where I run into people that I knew. This is uh, uh, Melvin across the street. I interviewed last year, but I interviewed you like four or five years ago. Yeah, that's all right. Well, it's, uh, easy. And you're still out here sleeping rough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then they, uh, they did give me somewhere to live last year, but it's not me. You know what I mean? I'd rather, I'd rather be out here. I feel no, safer out here. <laughs> well, what, so they tried to put you in some place that you didn't feel safe? I don't know, I just don't like it. It's not a nice place at all. You know what I mean? I've still got the key to the room on me. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. You still got the key, but it was, you didn't feel safe inside. No, it's too much going on in there. It's like, it's like a madhouse. The nearest thing I could describe it to is a prison, really. It's like a prison? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, it really is. Man. So how long did you stay? Uh, six months. Most of that time I was out here, though. You know what I mean? So I wasn't really there. You know what I mean? I don't like it. I mean, um, that's all there is to it, though, is, like, uh, I was in Wood Green for a bit, and the council had had enough of me, right, so they, uh, their answer was to get rid of me and me dog and get us up the street, so then I've got no reason to be on the streets in Wood Green, sitting down and begging and making money, right, like. that was the old the idea of them putting me in there, like, right. but... Now, were you out here this last winter? Yeah. Because it was cold out here. Nah, it wasn't that cold. It was that colder one, it's like... You know what I mean? You wrap up right, you're all right. You know what I mean? It's just like knowing what to do. You know what I mean? Nothing's like wearing out. Basically, put extra layers on. But don't go to bed with all your clothes on at night. <laughs> you don't wake up losing your bollocks off, trust me. Now... How long have you been totally sleeping rough? I, I don't, re I mean, your video interview, I mean. No, I all in all, it's been, uh, what am I now? How long? 24, 25, 26 years all in all. 26 years sleeping rough yeah. on and off. Wow. All right. I suppose in that time I've had about, I've been in a couple of hostels on and off. And they ain't worked out, you know what I mean? I do tend to spend more time out here. I'm uncomfortable, like, but I know. But well, you said you're going inside soon. Yeah, give it another go. And... Say Mungo's is going to get yeah. you inside. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know when that's going to happen? Pretty soon, hopefully. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, not more, it's more for the dog than me, because he's got to rest his leg up. Yeah. He's got a bad leg at the moment. He twisted his knee joint. Oh my God. But it's not as bad as they first thought it was, but. As long as he's resting up all the time, he's all right, you know what I mean? So you want to go inside for your dog? Yeah, more than anything. He's getting on now, he's nearly seven. Well, he's seven. He's just turned seven, yeah. I think he needs a bit of creature comforts, don't he? You know what I mean? Wow. Wow. Well, I'm glad that St. Mongo's is helping you get inside. Yeah, they're good people. That, that way, next time I visit, we won't run into each other. <laughs> or, or you could cook me dinner. How's that? <laughs> I might well be able to do that. Yeah, you never know. I'll take you to dinner. How's that? <laughs> yeah, we'll do better. that. Yeah. So it will work out. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean, uh, I'm not getting any younger. You know what I mean? Yeah. True. Uh, well, when you go inside, tell St. Mongo's they know me, uh, uh, and I'll come visit you. I'll do the. The story of you inside <laughs> so with your gonna, pup, yeah. and that's how I, I mean it was your it was your 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 hat and the dog across the street. I said, no way, that can't be him. And sure <laughs> enough, oh my god. Well, you look good. <laughs> you wouldn't have said that yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was a bad day. Yeah, very bad day. Cracks on the bus and everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Come round in the hospital. You was in the hospital yeah. for a while? Yeah, 
Who I takes care? Who takes care of your dog when? Well, you? I don't know. Well, lucky there's like some friends of mine grab dogs with a dog, like you know what I mean. But that's what I mean. I discharged myself from the hospital, so I wanted to find the dog. So. <laughs> Because what do you think, unfortunately, right? So, how long were you in the hospital, or did you just go for a no, I ain't got a clue. I yeah. ain't got a clue, though. I just discharged myself as soon as I woke up. I just discharged myself. Yeah. I took it all off, I cut all my clothes off me. There's a the mentality in people these days. Wow. So I had to walk down the road with my coat and a pair of boxer shorts on. Oh, yeah. And go round to friend's house and get some clothing off him, like. Not very, uh... So you've been out here 26 years watching people just walk by. Walk by. Right. Right. Been all over the country. I was up north for a year last year. Two years ago. Three years ago now. I went all the way up to uh, uh, Durham. Never again. Never again. Right. That is what the real news start with. Didn't work out. Well, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Sure. Yeah, I could be settled. I could be settled. Get in touch with me, daughter. Yeah. And just have a long life. It'd be nice. Great wishes. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. And really good to see you. And you, mate. I do remember you, I remember your face. I can't remember your name, mate. I think the last time you met. That was a long time ago. It was, it was. I remember every person I meet out here, though. It's funny, I can't remember where I parked my car, <laughs> but I can remember all the rough sleepers that I meet when I travel. Uh, every good. one of you have made uh, my life better. By uh, just your stories, how you guys, um, you know, just existing out here on the streets and you make it day to day, uh, it's nothing short of a miracle. I ain't not, no. Especially the way the world is today, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But yeah, it is a miracle. So you, 26 years out here and you're still going, it, that's a miracle. That encourages me. <laughs> Whatever problems I'm going through, that's how it makes my life better because I look at all you guys and listen to your stories and I'm, I'm encouraged. There's always someone worse off, ain't there? That's what keeps me going. And someone else is worse off than me out there. So. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Nice to see you again. Thank you for the socks. Thank you.